My setup's a little bit awkward, I apologize, but I can now actually sit back in my chair without it being, like, super quiety and echoey and shit. Well, here's the little hero coming for my sword of light again. Euphemisms, man. Take it if you dare. You'll never leave my castle, you pitiful fools. This is as close you'll ever come to the sword of light. Exposition! I don't care. Just shut up so I can kill you. Max, take great care. Michelle is a powerful wizard. It's a dangerous foe. I know. I fought her like three fucking times already, dude. Okay. She has a lot of magic. Um, I guess she's taking like safety mode off. Also, I just realized that Xylo is still dead. So, let's go ahead and uh, egress the shit out of that real quick, shall we? Hi! Yeah, can you like raise the people that died? Poor for more. Thank you. Appreciate it, smooches. Can I help in some other way? Yeah. Save. Can't do anything about it. I mean, it's not gonna do anything. Because the save function doesn't work. But save. Yes, I will continue my journey. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. Overwrite data. Resume. That slowdown, though. Okay. Alright, Xylo. Now, the point of this battle is to not die. I hope you realize. Do the loop-de-loop. -loop. And just sort of, you know, finagle my way around this dangerous, treacherous mountainscape. Which has been the bane of my existence. And into the giant skull fucking fortress. Because that seems like a good place to have a skull fortress. Always. Alright, actually, hang on a second. What have I got? Ooh, I have shinies over here, which I will must grab. I have two shinies here, which I also must grab. I have a shiny there. Oh my god, all of the chests. All of the shinies. You don't know what you're doing to me. Also, that's a... That's a bullshit thing right there. Look at that. One, two, three. Like, they can attack you from right here. That's, that's pretty, uh... That's pretty effing low, game. And she's going to proceed to run. I mean, not run. She's going to proceed, I suppose, position herself as perhaps the more... I'm gonna make Gunst be a... Uh... What am I trying to say here? A bit of a decoy. I'm not gonna put Max up there as of yet because they will target him first and they will murder him. Painfully at that. I think... One of the interesting things about looking at this from a, uh, from, like, an objective standpoint, like, from a, like, maybe, like, a game design standpoint, is the flaws of having the AI where it's everything, everything always targets the main character. Always. I mean, it's the, the quote-unquote intelligent, sensible thing to do. The problem is, in order to survive in a game like this, which is tactical and everything can and will dogpile you, it means that your main character is going to be drastically underleveled or you have to position yourself in such a way, you have to alter your strategy so that way your character will not be underleveled. Biatch, please. You just positioned yourself in a wonderful way. Thank you for that. Oh, you want to try and double tack. Alright, that's cool. I'm going to the shinies? The shinies, they are! They're, they're fucking shiny, man. You can't deny the shiny. Also, Pella's super powerful. Not sure if anybody notices that, but he has like almost 50 attack power at level 8. It's pretty baller. I can appreciate it. There's some healthy appreciation going on here. Oh, your Durham motherfuckers are. Okay. I see what you're doing. Alright, Arthur, now just don't die. <laughs> I'm like, Pell, one shot this guy. Arthur, just don't die. Just do me a favor, don't F and die. That's all I'm asking. Survive. Wall of Mages is rather terrifying, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, Lyle, can you kill one, maybe? No. But he got to level 10! Yay! 
And I may break my code and just have him... I have nothing to attack. Balls. Hmm. Anyway, I may break my code and have uh, Lyle promoted at level 10. Even though it, it, it literally solves nothing. Wait, was there something over here as well? No, it's just a chest. Shinies. I, I require the shinies. Even though I get the feeling that some of these are actually, like... Why do I say like so much? Damn it. I hate being so bad with the words and the things and the whatnots. Why did I move both of these guys up here, by the way? I'm a dongle horn. I'll just move you back then. I completely lost my train of thought. Shit. I'm getting the feeling that some of these chests here are ruses, perhaps. You know, um, red herrings. They don't actually have anything of use. There's also like eight of them, so I'm going to have to use multiple people to pick them up. Though I will say thus far, this battle seems to be going a lot faster than I was initially expecting it to with the number of enemies on it. Oh, sneezing. <laughs> Ow. The sneeze is real. That kind of hurt. I'm gonna be honest. F yourself, gargoyle. And seriously, that is a lot of effing mages. That is a lot of mages. I should have paid more attention to where I put her. Because she's gonna die. Yep. She got one shot. Looks like I'm doing this fight without a healer. Sounds legit. Don't you fucking kill my Xylo. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking... Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you motherfucker. If I retreat, I'm gonna make a point of just murdering the shit out of you just to spite you. Oh, you bastard. Bastard. Bastage. Thank you, Lyle, for finishing what you started. RNG is real. God damn. I'm sure as hell not putting you over there now. Alright. Sup? How you guys doing? Eat a fucking freeze three, motherfucker. Does it taste good? No? Fuck you. He gets D soul. Fuck. Wait, what? Oh, that is that. Yeah. I was right. Wait, no. Never mind. It said stay at first. It didn't actually give me the option to, uh, it didn't give me the option to search. I look forward to murdering the shit out of you, Bowman. Bowrider, whatever the fuck your name is. You will know suffering. Peace. Eat shit, pal. Did he just gain seven defense? Really? Huh. All right. Eat shit, bow rider. Die in a bus fire. Speed by six, HP by five. That's not bad. She's becoming suitably tanky. Not as tanky as guns, but suitably tanky. But then again, May is like a mandatory can uh, candidate, as a mandatory character. Guns is technically optional because you don't actually have to progress, you don't actually get him strictly by progressing through the story. You can actually, you know, skip by him very, very easily. Which I have done in, in past runs before. Ernest saves Shiny Force, the lost movie. Guns is my spirit animal. He really is. He is, like, the bomb diggity. Get fucking wrecked. Bow Rider. Archer on Archer action. Get fucked.
continue running, please. It only heightens the excitement. Now, I'm gonna be honest. This right here? Scary as fuck. That I am not gonna take lightly because, you know, one of them by themselves ain't no problem. Two, eh, you know, not too bad. But if you get two or three put together, like, fuck, like, no. They, they will just wreck anything and everything that comes in their path. And this is one of the, again, the bad points about having an all-melee group is because they'll just murder your shit, basically. Okay, I'm gonna move Vankar up because he has the, the highest vantage point so far. I find it odd how they're not actually immediately attacking him. They're just like, ah, fuck, take the treasure, I don't care. Oh, I have to be facing it. Duh. Derp. Of course I do. I have to be facing it. That's why he was saying stay. I understand things now. Fuck. So far, these, these chests are not proving worth it. They are not, you know, quote-unquote worth it. All right, Lyle, you have super range. Let's see if you can do anything with it. Also, fuck your couch, please. I don't know why I added the please. That makes it sound a lot more polite than, you know, the term suggests. And if you don't mind, would you be able to just, like, you know, get fucked sideways with a pine cone? You know, I mean, you know, whatever you're, you know, at, at your earliest convenience, please. I don't want to put you out. Max has not attacked a single thing in this fight. I would just take 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 a second to point that out. He's not dealt a single point of damage this entire fight. He is the ultimate leader. He does not get his hands dirty with such trivialities like, you know, beating things. Thank you, Guts. 32 points of damage. This pleases me. Ken is a pack mule, but that's fine. He knew what he was getting into. Murder the high priest so that way he can prolong the misery. You know, or you could just prolong the misery by uh, by missing. That's a thing that can also happen. Now you attack him? Dickbag? I don't know what that sound was, but it kind of scared me. If he could never do that, I'd be just, like, fucking jazzed. Yep, there he goes! Please don't be freeze three. Fuck. Because I have no healer! <laughs> I have to remind myself, because I, I, I don't have a healer. And shit's gonna get real bad real quick. Pell. God's sakes. It's down for maintenance. Oh, really? I don't realize that. Because I was actually going to try and play it. Go figure. A black ring. Ew. Me likey the shinies. I discovered an evil ring. That's even better. Sounds fantastical. <laughs> I knew it, you motherfucker. But that's fine. That's, that's just one more one shot for Gaunt's. Aw, oh, man, you're gonna guard- Motherfucker. Peace out, Master Mage. He literally gained a level. Just- just nothing except the level. The numeral changed and nothing else. That's- that's balls. You know what, Domingo, you're going to be- Ooh, I wanna try desouling you. Won't work, because they probably don't have souls or something weird like that, but let's try it. Yep. Also, that was a lot of EXP. No, MP. Words. May fight the Belial also that way he doesn't fuck Max in the face, please. Huh, interesting. Let me big content pass today. Coolio. Alright, Max, please. Just... You're doing damage for once. Please don't die. 40 experience. That's good. Hopefully you can actually kill him. 
before he heals again, and if he does, fuck it, just kill him anyway. All right, Ernest, well done. What do you have in terms of items? Okay, you can hold one shiny. So you go up here. Poor Ken. Been reduced to pack mule status. Item equip. Fuck yeah! Uh oh. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that's, that scared me a lot. The fact that that happened. That that sound was scary. I'm, I'm very... That was scarifying. Um, if I could never do that again, I would be super stoked. I forgot that there were cursed items in this game. Alright, Arthur. That's, the, that's, that's fine. Waste your MP again. Because now you have no ability to heal at all. Well, no, he has a heal one. That's fine. I can just use him to, like... I'm almost hoping you don't kill him, Lyle. Because Max needs EXP. That's, that's definitely one way to not kill him. So there we are. Freeze one. I haven't seen her, so it doesn't count. I tried out Blade and Soul. Act, I mean, okay, by trying out Blade and Soul, I honestly, I just loaded it up and looked at the character select screen. That that was the closest I, I've gotten to, to trying Blade and Soul out because I looked at the character select screen and I saw one of the, the humanoid ones, like the female something. It had the Blade Dancer, Blade Master, because apparently those are actually two completely different classes for some reason or another. Um, the female one with the blade, and she had, like, this weird dominatrix outfit that had, like, the zipper pulled down to her. I wanted to say nipples, but that's not the thing that's on your stomach. It's your belly button. It's actually your belly button. Um, and I was just kind of like, this, this makes me think of Terra and the overly, like, blatantly overly sexualized. And, and believe me, I'm not, like, the feminist type. I'm not the point to be like, oh, male pigs, all they want is, all they want are boobs or whatever the, like, fuck, I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. I don't really know what goes to the mind of a quote-unquote feminist. I don't get it. You know, that's really not my concern, but there's a point where I look at that and I'm just like, fucking seriously? Like, I mean, there's being sexy, and then there's being, like, total slut bag thing, and it's, it's, like, no. <laughs> please don't, don't make me go through this. Don't, don't, just don't, please. Like, no. That's right, drop another heal. Like I said, that's just more EXP for Max. He may actually hit level 5. Oh, never mind, she didn't really try it out then. How's Bloodborne going? I beat it the other night. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know there were optional, like... And I don't mean this as to, to diss Dark Souls or Bloodborne, because it all looks really awesome, but I'm probably, like, too... Fuck! Why will you kill them? Ah, oh, shit! I shot Marvin in the face! But, um... I lost my train of thought, I'm gonna be honest. Um... Those look like really fun games. I tried out Dark Souls for about 15 minutes, couldn't figure out the controls, died like six times. I was just like, you know, this probably isn't the game for me. And just, just, just never played it again. Like I said, it, you know, it's maybe not my bag. Because I'm, I'm bad at video games, basically. And I have come to terms with the fact that I'm bad at video games. That's why I kind of stick with the turn-based things, so that way I can be bad and, you know, on a turn-based basis. Not in real time. Go with the Lin race, they're all cutesy and everything. Well, I mean, I don't necessarily do cutesy specifically, like, you know, I mean, I didn't play a Taru Taro in Final Fantasy XI, I actually played a fucking Elven, because I'm weird. And that's how I roll. Bitch. I want a D-Soul, I can't now, because I've just wasted all my MP. But, um... Also, holy shit, the Mingo's almost out of MP, I just realized that. That's probably not good. Chances are I'll probably be going, if I were to play, I'd be going with the Lin because it has the, uh, it has the Summoner class, which looks really nifty. Which, again, is strange because I didn't go Taro Taro in Final Fantasy XI. Okay. Ernest. And here's where the sacrifices begin. Here's where the ritual sacrifice begins. 
Max, you were staying like way the fuck back because you will be one shot. You're going after Domingo. All right, that's cool. You missed, by the way. Eh, <laughs> By the way, I'm holding up my middle fingers. You can't see it, but I am. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Laughed a little bit too soon. It's all good. In nine hood. Okay, let's move you here so that way Michelle doesn't have like fucking bolt four territory bullshit. Two damage. Could be worse. Like literally, it could be a lot worse. Domingo does not need the extra experience. I'm just gonna like move him here. And I'm just gonna let him get wailed on for a little bit. And I'm gonna have Ernest here try to take down another one of these Durahans. These things have stupid high defense though, Jesus. I mean, ridiculously high defense. I don't want to fuck with Michelle yet because she's just gonna wreck my face. Thank you. Thank you for the double attack, Ken. Appreciate the double tap. It's always fun. May, you need some EXP, like, for reals. Man, by the time I beat this game, Max gonna, is gonna be, like, level 5, and everyone else is gonna be, like, level 15. But then again, as I said, that's just kind of, like, the way the game is designed. If you, if you run him out, and it's the middle of the battlefield, you're gonna get... Especially these later-end bosses, they're gonna just... They're just gonna completely destroy you, because they do so much damage. I'm gonna shoot Michela. Never mind, I'm gonna shoot the Durahan. I might be able to kill him. Please do three damage. That's not three damage. God damn it, Lyle. Maybe this time he'll actually hit Domingo. Nope! Still didn't hit him! Wait, do you have enough space in your inventory? You do. Good. You have more than enough space in your inventory. Fantastic. Yay! I'm just gonna move you here. Oh, God. Oh, bye, Lyle. He fucking survived. I am seriously just, blah, blah, just like amazed right now. Like, I didn't even think that was possible. Legit, did not even think it was possible that he could survive that. I figured that was like minimum 16 damage. That is not what I wanted to see, May. You're gonna continue to stay back here. Stay right the fuck back here. God damn. Even with the weaker item, he still has more attack power than most people with the stronger item. God damn, that's incredible. Okay. You have shit damage, but I don't care. I need to have the people with high damage up front. Oh, sweet Jesus. That's pathetic. Well, here we go. Dog pile on Michelle time. I'm definitely keeping you out in the back, too. Really? That's how we're gonna play this? Peace out, Durahan. Even if I die, I will die doing what I love, which is sniping people's last kills. He got one fucking HP. Alright. Sounds legit. I wonder. Will she continue to attack me, even though I'm above her? It would be very funny. Yes, she actually is! Fuck yes! I found a way to cheese the fight! At least, until he dies, because he's gonna die eventually. Oh boy, is he gonna die eventually.
Oh, this is going to be slow and extremely painful. You're staying down here. You're just going to stay out of the way. You're just going to stay way the fuck out of the way. How's that sound? That is not the way to go about that, sir. I'm just going to stay out of the way, too. Because I need people with, like, the highest attack power up here. Ah, Dude. For realsies. Uh, well, I can't unequip the goddamn black ring now, so I may as well enjoy it. You're gonna stand in a corner. Lyle, you're gonna stand, like, way the fuck out here. And you're just gonna take pot shots. You're only gonna do one damage. You did four damage. That's... You did eight damage. All right. Good boy. All righty. You will do one more spell, and then you're probably gonna die. You might provide a... Oh, nice. She healed. Of course she healed. All bosses self-heal. Why would I think otherwise? But yes, Domingo, you are going to provide a nice little, uh... You're going to provide a nice distraction for about one or two more turns. And then I'm going to start losing people like fucking flies. Losing people like flies are going to start dropping like flies. She only has 32 attack. He only has 31 attack. Jesus, you're terrible. He has 48 attack. He has 41 attack. He has 36 attack. Blah, blah, blah. He would lose a lot of attack with that. He would only have 29 attack power. He ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Can't use either. So let's just go ahead and bite the bullet. Any damage is damage at this point. Except when you don't hit. Strictly speaking. You know, you don't have to do that game. I'm starting to get the feeling that perhaps my all night setup might not be 100% viable. And it displeases me so. It vexes me, truly. Especially when they don't fucking hit. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. He's only gonna have 41 attack, but I really need to get guns up in that business. In that business. If you- if it will. If it were. WORDS! I can words! Ken, you're just gonna be a pack mule, please. I wanna get guns up in there, because he will do monstrous damage. If he just has his halberd equipped. God, now I'm starting to think, if I had... Mm. If I had given Guntz the evil ring, oh, the damage it would have done, he would have been at like 60 attack power, and he has super fast movement speed and high HP, he would have been like, just the baddest badass of all time. Bye, Domingo. This will be my first death with you. Maybe second, I don't really remember. Maybe when you were a wee little munchkin that had, like, 10 HP or something ridiculous like that. Yep, she healed again. Go figure. But hopefully you bought us enough time. Thank you, Domingo, for your sacrifice. So much more useful than the sacrifices. That's, uh... That Xylo and... Uh, not Anry. Xylo and Chris made because they were completely fucking useless. Give me that halberd shit, yo! Oh, Gaunt's sweet prince. My sweet prince, that is not what you needed to do. Because now I'm hurting. Thank you, Vankar. 
This is gonna get real scary real quick because I was really banking on guns doing a lot of damage. Thank you, pal. Truly. Though you can take my sword, you will never take my freedom! No, you will never stop Dark Saul. Dark Dragon will be set free. Blah, blah. Will Dark Saul release Dark Dragon from the bonds of the ancients? Or will Mox stop Dark Saul and save all of Rune from the ultimate evil? The Shining Force hurries on to prompt. Yes, everybody salute Gaunt. Everybody salute his loss and the sacrifice that he has made so that all of us may yet live. Truly, he is the son of God. Save slot. Yes, please. 